Hi everybody, we're back. We're here today um, to do our stalagmite and stalactite um, science project. So we've got two jars here that we have filled part of the way with water. And in a minute- Boiling water. Yeah, boiling warm water. Um, and then we're gonna add some salt to it in just a second. But I wanna reread you the part where Harry and Hagrid talk about the stalagmites and the stalactites at Gringotts Wizarding Bank. So if you remember, it says, once he thought he saw a burst of fire at the end of a passage and twisted around to see if it was a dragon, but too late. They plunged even deeper, passing an underground lake where huge stalactites and stalagmites grew from the ceiling and floor. I never know, Harry called to Hagrid over the noise of the cart. What's the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite? Stalagmite's got an M in it, said Hagrid, and don't ask me questions just now. I think I'm going to be sick. All right, so do you know what the difference is between a stalactite and no, a stalagmite? No, but I know that it's not just there's an M in one. Yes, there's more to it. Here, I'm going to move the camera so you can see a little bit more of our jars. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's better, right? Is that better? Okay. So there is more to stalagmites and stalactites than just the letter change between the two words. Um, do you know what no. they have to do with? Okay. Stalactites and stalagmites are a type of rock formation that you usually see in caves. And in chapter 5 when we were reading Diagon Alley, we know that Hagrid and Harry went to Gringotts and they went under London um, into the caves where the Gringotts vaults are. And that's where Harry saw the stalactites and the stalagmites. Now, the difference between the two different types of rock formations is that one grows from the ceiling and the other grows from the floor. So when you've seen pictures of caves and things like that, you saw probably saw these like dripping looking rock type rocks. Like uh, icicles? Yeah, they look like icicles, but they're instead of ice, they're, they're more rocks. like rocks. And so what happens is caves tend to be very moist. There's lots of water there. And those that water that's in caves are full of minerals and um, different deposits of different nutrients and type things. So what happens is when the water drips from the ceiling, as the water is slowly drip, 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 dripping. It hardens. It does harden because the water evaporates and leaves the minerals behind. And so the minerals collect and form rocks. And so those are the icicle looking type rocks that hang down from the ceiling. Now, same thing when the water drips to the floor, okay, once it lands on the floor, it kind of piles up and piles up and piles up and piles up. And again, as those, um, as the water evaporates, and those And a lot minerals, of times you'll see them looking like this. Yeah, There's... a lot of times they'll touch or almost touch. Exactly. So stalactites are the ones that come down from the ceiling, and the sta stalagmites come up from the floor. And so we're going to do a project today, a little science experiment, and we're going to attempt to grow stalactites and stalagmites. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know, because I've never done this before. So oh, are they going to grow on the ceiling? No, they're not going to grow from our ceiling. <laughs> I hope not. But what they're going to do is we're going to pretend um, like the water in our jar is the water in the caves, right? So what we're going to do is, since we've got hot water, we're going to add some salt. Epsom salt. We're gonna this add is not some normal salt. This is Epsom salt. Here we go. We're going to add Epsom salt. And it's not chunky, but I got all the chunks out. Yeah, you got all the chunks out. It's pretty good. Okay, so, Lily, I'm going to add some salt in here. And I do have it on a mat because I expected myself to make a mess. <laughs> yeah. And... So you just eyeballing it as half? Yeah, I'm eyeballing it. I could have gotten a half, half a cup. cup. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's fine. All right, you want to add some food coloring? Yes. Uh, we chose pink, but you can use whatever color you want. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more salt in that one. All right. All right, so Just we're going to... one drop each. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can start with one drop. I'm going to start stirring this to dissolve the salt. Okay. Mmm, -hmm. very pretty. And then I'm going to mix it yours. a little, and then I'm going to add the food coloring. Okay. Now what it is, we've got some, ah! um, <laughs> we couldn't find any string. You can use some yarn or some string to connect um, the two parts of your cave or your cavern. That'll be fine. Um, I couldn't find any string, so I'm using some old material that I just cut up. And I cut it into a string type thing. And what I did is, in order to keep the string down in our cave, I tied a little weight to the bottom of it. 
just to keep it down in the water. I, do, I added two drops to mine if you want to add two drops to yours. Okay, well, it's up to you. You can add as much color as you want to, or as little as you want to. Okay, well, mine my, looks red. Yours looks red. <laughs> yeah, mine looks red. That's okay. I got an idea. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to add the magenta. We're using the neon. Okay. So we've got kind of the pink, and then we've got the purple, which looks like magenta. So I'm going to add a little bit of that and see what happens. Okay. Mixing up the color. I feel like I'm going to ruin it. There's no way you can ruin it. It's totally fine. Make oh, sure you get endless. all the way to the bottom because the salt kind of settles at the bottom of the glass. Colors are endless. Now it just looks like me. It's fine. It looks brown. It's fine. I've made many life mistakes. It's okay. Well, caves are kind of brownish. You might want to untangle your fork. It's hot though. Untangle it, baby. Just untwist it. Twist it the opposite direction. Keep twisting. It's curling up more. You have to twist it the opposite Hold way. Hold on, can you fork? <laughs> I do. I think you're overcomplicating life. Here, watch. Eh. No, 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 no. Watch. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my salt's dissolved. Is your salt dissolved yet? No. Okay. Stir, 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 stir. Okay, so what's going to happen is I've got our little piece of cloth right here. And what it's going to do is it's... Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do about it? There you go. Um, it's Easy gonna, way of life. Good job. Work smarter, not harder, right? So what I'd it's going to do harder. is it's going to soak up our salt water. And as the material gets saturated with the water... The water is going to eventually start dripping, and our water is full of nutrients, which is salt. That's the nutrient we used, right? Okay, that's good. Um, so what's going to happen is the water is going to soak from both directions, right? Mm -hmm. And then what do you think is going to happen? As the water evaporates. Oh, the water's going to drip down and then mm -hmm. create stalactites. And stalagmites, and right? Because the water will evaporate, oh, but what will be left behind? Oh, what? oh, the food coloring fell over and it didn't spill, thank the Lord. Thank goodness. All right. Be careful over there. <laughs> um, so the salt is going to be left behind, and we shall see... What happens? I'm gonna guess it's there. probably gonna take three to five days. What do you think? To form yeah, a stalactite no and stalagmites? Do you think so? Are we getting dissolved? Maybe. I'm getting dissolved. Mine's probably. Mine's yeah, yours is good. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on our counter. We're gonna let and it sit don't for a few eat days. the Epsom salt. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. Uh, this is not table salt. This is Epsom salt. So. The crystals are a lot bigger, and it looks totally different. Can you see the crystals that are dropped? See how different they look? Mm-hmm. They're a lot bigger. They are. They're a lot bigger. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. No, can you see? You can see mine. Yeah. See I got one of the bigger good. ones. You got a huge crystal. That's awesome. All right. So we're going to let this sit. Um, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully it'll work. We shall see. What do you think? I hope it works. I hope it works too. I think it'll be fun if it works. If it doesn't work, oh well, no harm done. But You can always theory, go to Dollar Tree and get those little kits so you can grow your own crystals. Yeah, that's true. I used you to could have, do that. I used to have one in my little playroom upstairs. Right. I used to have this little box of purple crystals. But this is all stuff we already had at home. So we're going to use it and see if it works. The only thing I'm not sure about is if the cloth will work as well as like a piece of yarn would have worked. That's the only part I'm hesitant about, but we'll see. Only one way to find out. Okay, so we'll check back in with you guys in a few days and we will see if our stalactites and our stalagmites have grown. Remember, which one grows from the ceiling? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. 
a stalactite. Wait, is the banner one? No. 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 Banner's up. Yesterday was Lily's birthday, so we have... I had a Harry Potter themed birthday. Yeah, so we still have our Harry Potter happy birthday sign up from yesterday. So, the stalactites grow from the ceiling, and the stalagmites grow from the floor. Okay? Got that? Got it. Okay. All right. So, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.